Now, this is the membrane housing. This is the heart of the system. In this housing, we hold what's called the membrane, and the membrane is a filter that uses a flux rate that passes through the membrane in order to remove the contaminants. Now, it's critical that this flux rate is maintained across the membrane. If the water slows too much or stops, then all the contaminants won't be able to be flushed out to the drain. They're going to concentrate within this membrane and fill the membrane up. Our, all RO systems are going to drain water to the drain as they run. That is the water passing through the membrane and dumping the bad contaminants to the, to the drain while you're making the good water in your center orifice. Now, this looks to be a tube that runs all the way through, but there's actually a, a blocker that blocks this side of the center tube off from this side. So, as water comes in, we want to feed water into the side that has the skirt out. seal. Now, on any membrane, whether it's residential or it's all the way up to the commercial side, this skirt seal is always going to be the feed side of the membrane. What happens is, is when water comes into this side, it comes under this and flares that out, and that's what seals this in the outside of the membrane housing. And it, push, and it forces the water to push through the membrane and out the other side to the drain. Or, some of the water will push through to the center orifice and come out as your permeate clean water. Now, this system has several layers of fibers that are, that are wrapped on here. As these, the water passes through these fibers, the, the holes get smaller and smaller for the water to make it through. So by default, the contaminants in the water are rejected and then pushed out with water passing over the membrane all the time. Now, on this side, you have two O-rings that seal this particular membrane housing in, or I mean this membrane in the housing. And we're going to show you what the inside of the housing looks like and why they're important. But these seals, if these seals weren't in place, then water coming out from the, the bad water from the membrane would just make it right into this orifice and into your tap so you wouldn't have clean water. So, depending on the membrane size, obviously the membrane housing is the same, so we need some way to control that flow rate to the drain. And that's when we use something called a flow restrictor. Now, on our units, we have inline flow restrictors. These particular flow restrictors are conveyed from the RO system, and there's a small orifice in here that restricts the flow to the drain. What that does is that creates the back pressure on the membrane, but still allows the contaminants to flush to the drain. That back pressure is what pushes the water through the membrane and out to your storage tank and to your RO faucet.